Hello students, in this video we're going to go over some basic notation with vectors and matrices as well as how to add and subtract matrices and perform a scalar multiplication with matrices and vectors. So here we go. The uh, notation for vectors, you can see I have two different types of notation here. Um, oftentimes in a multivariable calculus setting, you might see this first notation with the angle brackets, but in a linear algebra setting, you'll see vectors written as uh, column vectors. Okay. And these we, um, we, of course, call columns. And the u1, u2, or the v1, v2, v3, these are called the components of the vector. For matrices, we often, we often call these the entries for the matrix. So here we have a matrix A, and its entries are A11, A12, A21, A22. The subindices here, the subscripts, the 1, 1, corresponds to its entry location. The first number corresponds to the row number. So th this is the top row, this is row 1, A11, A12. The second subscript corresponds to the column. So this is the first column, this is the second column. So this is A in the first row, first column, A first row, second column, A second row, first column, A second row, second column. And likewise for this matrix B. First row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. Second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column. Here you only have the, uh, in the vectors, you only have the entries and we um, don't use a subscript. Now we could, this would be U11 and this would be U21. This would be V11, V21, V31. But oftentimes we suppress the second subscript. Now for some notation. This double barred R, those are the real numbers. And this uh, symbol that looks like an E or a C with a line through it, that's um, an epsilon, a Greek letter epsilon, and that, is, that means element of or inside of. So this vector U is inside of R2. You could think of that like an ordered pair. This would be in R3, and that would be an ordered triple. Like the point in a, in a space, like the point on a plane or a point in space. Likewise, we could think of matrices as being in the real numbers with two by, with the two by two matrices. So all the entries here, this is a two by two matrix. It has two columns, two columns, or two rows, sorry, and two columns. This matrix has two rows and three columns. So again, the superscript here, the two corresponds to the number of rows, the three corresponds to the number of columns. So this means that the matrix B has real entries. All these Bs in here are real numbers. And, this, and the dimensions of this matrix would be two rows by three columns. Likewise, in a linear algebra setting, we may denote U as either being an R2 or sometimes to be explicit um, for when we're performing operations with matrix and vectors we might want to specify that this vector is two by one. So we think of it like as a two rows with one column. Now vectors and matrices of the same dimensions may be added um, or subtracted, okay? And I would encourage you to think of it as just adding, as subtraction is adding the opposite. So here's uh, some examples. So here I have three vectors, u, v, and w. Notice that u is in R2, v is in R3, and w is in R2. If I want to add u plus v or add u plus w, I'll have to take their dimension into consideration. Likewise, I have three matrices, a, b, c. a is in R2 by 2, b is in R2 by 3, and c is in R2 by 3. And if I want to add a plus b or b plus c, I'll have to take their dimensions into consideration. Now, I cannot add u plus v because they have different dimensions. But I can add u plus w 
And the way that we would add u plus w is just by simply adding the components of the vector, or if you want, you can think of them as entries. So I would simply add the minus 3 plus the minus 1, or the 2 plus the minus 1, and, then and perform that operation, and we'd get minus 4, 1. Likewise, if I were to add, try to add a plus b, I cannot because they're not compatible for addition or subtraction. But I can add b plus c because they are the same dimensions, 2 by 3. So when I add them, I just add them their entries. And we call that you know, component-wise or entry-wise. So I would take 1 plus minus 2, 3 plus minus 3, 0 plus 5, 1 plus minus 5, minus 1 plus minus 1, and 4 plus 2. And we would get just what you would expect. Just by adding the entries, we get minus 1, 0, 5, minus 4, minus 2, 6. Now there's another operation we can perform, and that is scalar multiplication of the matrix, or even of a vector, but I'll use the matrix as an example. Let's say I wanted to multiply minus 2 times b. That's a perfectly legal operation. And what that means is we just multiply all the components by minus 2. So if I multiply minus 2 times this matrix b here, I'm just going to get minus 2, minus 6, 0, minus 2, 2, and minus 8. That gives us a way to subtract matrices. If I were to take B minus C, then I would have the matrix B, just as we had before. And here's the matrix C, but I have a minus. You could think of that as minus 1 in front of it. So what I would do is I'd take that minus 1 and I'd multiply it by all the entries. So I'm, in other words, I'm just changing the sign of all these entries. And then I think of this as just an addition of the two matrices, as we had before. And we'd be left with... 1 minus minus 2, which is 1 plus 2, gives us 3. 3 minus minus 3 gives us 3, pl 3 plus 3, which gives us 6, and so on. And that's how you add or subtract matrices and vectors, um, along with some notation that is commonly used. All right, good luck.